Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to especially thank the witnesses who have shared their personal stories with us, and what you're doing here is very important, not just for the millions of Americans directly affected by uh, the so-called Defense of Marriage Act, but for our entire nation. DOMA is an injustice. It is an immoral and discriminatory law. Our nation was founded on the premise that all people are created equal and that all persons should receive equal treatment under the law. Our society may be different uh, than it was then, but these uh, principles remain the same. That's why I'm an original co-sponsor of the Respect for Marriage Act, and that's why I think the day we repeal DOMA will be a great day in this nation, akin to the ratification of the 19th Amendment and the passage of the Civil Rights Act, and I think that uh, Congressman Lewis's presence here spoke to that in a very powerful way. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, enter, uh, enter the rest of my statement, opening statement, uh, into the record. Mr. Minery, on page eight of your written testimony, you write, quote, children living in their own married biological or adoptive mothers uh, with their own married biological and or adoptive mothers and fathers were generally healthier and happier, had better access to health care, less likely to suffer mild or severe emotional problems, did better in school, were protected from physical, emotional, and sexual abuse, and almost never live in poverty compared with children in any other family form. You cite a, um, uh, a Department of Health and Human Services study that I have uh, right here from December 2010 to support this conclusion. I checked the study out. <laughs> and I would like to enter it into the record, if I may. Objections, Horton. And it actually doesn't say what you said it says. It says that nuclear families, not opposite sex married families are associated with those positive outcomes. Isn't it true, Mr. Minery, that a married same-sex couple that has had or adopted kids would fall under the definition of a nuclear family in the study that you cite? I would think that the study when it cites nuclear families would mean a family headed by a husband and wife. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, the study defines a nuclear family as one or more children living with two parents who are married to one another and are each biological or adoptive parents to all the children in the family. And I frankly don't really know how we can trust the rest of your testimony if you are reading studies these ways. Ms. Murray, I recently read about a Minnesota same-sex couple with two daughters. The working partner and their daughters could get health insurance through that partner's employer, but they couldn't afford to cover the non-working partner who was named Shannon because every contribution they or their employer made to Shannon's coverage would be fully taxable under federal law. Now, Shannon and her partner can't get married in Minnesota, but even if, if they could, DOMA would mean that their situation would remain the same. According to one estimate, because of DOMA, same-sex couples pay uh, $1,069 more annually for health coverage than opposite sex employees. As Senator Feinstein mentioned, uh, you have had to go through this. Can you tell us how same sex couples end up paying or coping with these disparities? Senator, a lot of them simply don't get health insurance. and. Um, they end up in the emergency room. My partner's a physician assistant and works in an emergency room in Burlington, Vermont, and she sees these couples coming in when they can't afford insurance. Um, so our system is paying uh, for, at least on an emergent basis, is paying for these folks' health care. 
And anything that's they're not their kids aren't getting if their kids are not covered they're not getting uh, you know regular checkups nor are the nor are the partners so that's that's a, a huge problem that we have um, on a, on a long term basis in terms of health care. Thank you very much and thank you to all the witnesses, um, Mr. Chairman.